Hello and welcome everyone. I am Technivorous and today we are answering another Cure question by you, the viewer. But first, go ahead and reduce your Z offset on that subscribe button down there and give it a good first layer squish. Today's question is from Pedro Jam is one who says, My custom supports show up and prepare, but they won't preview or slice and they won't print. Well, Pedro, let's take a look at some of the per model settings and make sure we have them set right. Alright, so I've gone ahead and pulled in a Wolverine model, the arm of which will need support as you can see as well as a few other places. We are just going to go ahead and place a support blocker. Yeah, I know it's not watertight, there we go. Um, and the way that we do that... by clicking on support blocker seem to be having issues there we go Alright, so it did make me hit the E button, which is silly. Okay, so this is actually a support blocker, but what it is, is its own model. So we have Wolverine here, and we have this. This isn't going to add support. This is just going to block support from showing up there if you have support checked in this box. What you need to do is go to the per model settings here, and as you can see, it's saying don't support overlaps. That's not what we want. We don't want to modify the settings for overlaps because we don't want them to overlap. We're going to click print as support. Um, and once we do that, we can move the object around. So if I take it and I increase the scale here on the Z. And then we go ahead and drop it down. It'll cut off whatever's beneath the build plate. Well, it should. Apparently it's not doing that for me right now. drop to build plate. That's good enough. Okay, so let's slice it. We should see this arm showing up in there, although I should probably make sure I don't have support ticked here, and I do. Let's turn that off. We don't need that right now. We're just seeing the effects of this support that we're adding here, this custom support. You can, of course, change the scale, take your time, make sure that it fits properly. I'm just showing you the quick and dirty of how to get this working so you can have it properly working on Kira 5 here. Uh, it's pretty much the same as all the other versions of Kira, but those per model settings do get a little bit tricky. So paying attention to the fact that you have support and not support blocker is a big deal. If it's selected as support, it will show up with this two color pattern instead of see-through like the support blocker will. And it's done slicing now, so let's jump over to preview mode and make sure that we have our support showing up there. As you can see, it looks like it's processing it, and there we have it. It is showing up, and as you can see, it does not go through our model, it is showing up only as support. Let's go back and take one more quick look at those per model settings, um, because we have it set to print as support. If you don't like this pattern, let's see which I believe is just lines with no extra walls. You can still select that model. You can go to select settings. And if you type in support, it will give you all the settings that are available for you to change for that blocker. So I can go in, change the interface roof. Um, I can generate tree support. I can set generate support. There should be Not letting me pick the pattern here. So it looks like that particular thing is going to be determined by right here. Um, so um, let's test that real quick just to make sure that I have that clearly. We'll put it on um, something that's clearly different. Let's put it on gyroid. I never use gyroid support. Slice it and we'll take a look again. 
And after slicing, it appears that that assumption is correct. The pattern for your support blocker is going to be determined by the support pattern under here. It's not allowing me to pull that setting over here. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. If you know what that is, comment down below. Otherwise, if you have any other Kira questions, make sure you leave those down in the comments. And if you could, put the words Kira and question in the comment because that's how I find these when I'm digging through the multiple comments I get on my many videos. And that's going to be it for this one, guys. I hope you smashed that subscribe button a while ago and you're in it for the long haul because we have a lot more videos. And there is a whole playlist of these Kira questions for you to check out and plenty more to come. So stick around and we'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.